we have a three ton York air handler from 09 with a pan with water in it. I don't think it's a drain issue. I think the unit's freezing. Another contractor said that she's loan free on. She's got one of those Guardian 407C units. And he he put he put dye in it. Pretty sure she's frozen. Oh yeah. She's frozen solid. Coils in rough shape. Yeah, we got dye there. We definitely have dye right there on that on that loop, if y'all can. There's a lot of dye in here, but the unit is all frozen. I can see dye poking through the ice. All right, I had to run to the office and get some 407C because I didn't have any on the truck. Look at the dye, full of dye back there. Look up there. And then there is some dye. Yeah, so this, this coil's gone. We are gonna talk about a new system because York is going to want just as much for this coil as I can get an air handler for. And she has a Guardian 407C unit with a month of warranty left. So I think it would be better for her to update the system and get a 10-year warranty. But we'll give her options on a new coil, which I, I can give her a ballpark because the York store is closed. And then... I've already worked her up prices on uh, new equipment.
Here's our condenser. It's a Guardian micro channel. 407C. I'm gonna pull the top off of it. I wanna see if there's any dye out here. This unit has a month and a half left of warranty on it. I left my, I usually have my 12 volt, but I left it in the attic. Cause I still have the panels off the air handle cause it's still falling out. We got a little bit of dye. It's not bad, but it's there. Okay, so you're not gonna be able to see it on camera, but it's not bad at all. I'm not saying like it's, ooh, you know, die. I'm just, it, there is a touch of it though. There's a small touch of die right here and right here. I'll put the light on it for y'all, but I doubt y'all are gonna be able to see it. Yeah, maybe so. You got a small touch of it there and a very small touch of it there. So, I'm gonna recommend full change out. Uh, definitely gonna need a pad. The whip is good. It's actually got the correct whip on it. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna, uh, definitely, definitely gonna recommend a full system change out. All right, guys, I got to put back together. So this is pretty much turned into a full change out now. It's be pointless. Okay, so I turned the fan back on and then they've got a speed, which is good because this is a three ton air handler with a two and a half ton condenser. But we're gonna bump the whole system up to a three ton. Uh, yeah, look at this coil, man. Yeah, I can see dye in the ice right here. But all oh, that dye was enough to convince me that I showed y'all earlier. But um, she wants to change the whole machine inside and out, but she's an elderly lady and she's on fixed income. Look at that, look at that incident. See, that's why, Ted, I've been trying to encourage you. See this right here? That's not good for indoor air quality. I mean, look what it does. Ted, that's why I've been encouraging you to use these float switches right here. I mean, yeah, we got a float switch here and that's great. But look what but look what has to happen to the air handler.
before this happens. If you had a, now that won't help freezing unless you put a freeze stack. So this is kind of unrelated. You know, this is from a freeze up. But if you drain clogs and drain you, and Ted, you have a lot of uh, drain issues, you need to be putting a float switch right here, Ted. And again, I'm just trying to give out advice, man, to stop this from happening. I mean, look at this, this thing is saturated. Free stats wouldn't be a bad idea to add to every system too, because they're cheap, but the only bad thing is they're not resettable. They just click on and off. But still, it's better than letting this happen. But I'm just trying to get the rest of this ice off. Yeah, there's ice under there too. Not much, but there's some. I'm trying to get the rest of this ice off so that I can charge. It's, it's Sunday and it's 2.50 in the afternoon. So I'd like to get home, uh, but I'm gonna put her some Freon temporarily. Anyway, like I was saying, she's on fixed income. You can see the dye on the door, on the insulation. All that green stuff is dyed. Anyway, I'd like to put this thing back together and get her charged up. She said the charge lasts is about two to three weeks. The outdoor unit did show a little bit of dye. There's all kind of dye in here. Uh, but anyway, like I said, she's elderly on fixed income, but I've done work for her daughter. Uh, wait, is it, it's either daughter and son-in-law or son and daughter-in-law, I can't remember. Um, and they're the ones that told her to call me because they had another company out here and they were trying to just, they were gonna change out just the evaporator coil for a hefty price and leave the leaking uh, outdoor unit. He didn't even check it for a leak. And I mean, look, when an air handler gets like this, the insulation, your insulation value, look at that, look at that. Your insulation value is ruined once this happens. This is a 10 kW heat strip. Uh, but I think her daughter and son-in-law or son and daughter-in-law, whatever it is, is going to pay for this because I've done work for them before. And they're the ones that said, no, 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 call John. And uh, they actually called me. And then, then, the, then the mother called me. So we're here today. She asked if I could please come temporarily get her some air. But we got to do something. He just put Freon in it like two and a half, three weeks ago, and it's already low again. But we'll put some in it today to hold her over. I told her we could schedule this for Tuesday. So I can't do it tomorrow. I got too much to do tomorrow. So if I could put her some free on today, that'll that'll work. But man, that is thick, thick, thick. This is gonna take a while to thaw out. Man. Okay, got the gauges hooked up. We have our 407C hooked up. Gonna hook up the pipe clamps. I got it all thawed out. I got the uh, air handler put back together. I took some hot water and poured it all over that ice. Got it to thaw out pretty quick. Disconnect. There it is. Three thirty-three. our weight at total cho oh yeah that's right they don't put it on here because it's uh, technically a dry ship unit so we'll just go ahead and let a little bit flow I weighed my jug before I came over here and I wrote the weight down somewhere like I did in that lap that one of my previous videos keeping track of my weight for you super techs out there that say oh not even weighing it it's 
it's not going to take much gas at all. These micro channels don't hold a lot. The daughter just arrived, so I told her after I got done putting, after I got done charging it up, I'd come in there and talk to her. And I got pictures of uh, the coil and stuff for her to look at. We're already getting close to above freezing, so I'll probably get it close and then I'll go let it. I'll leave all this hooked up while I go in it inside and explain things to the daughter. I've had that jug for a while. Arctic Eagle 407C. This will actually be one I won't have to change the whip on. Except the uh, blow voltage wire. They got that, that DX or green feel, whatever you want to call it. I'll put some uh, this kind right there on the low voltage. Yeah, we're moving in the right direction. Short a little bit more in there. All right, I'm gonna let that sit and go talk to the customer or the customer's daughter. All right, guys, so that one ended with, uh, we sold a complete change out, just a 14 sear because she's gonna be putting the house on the market in the next six months to a year because she will be 70 years old, I think she said in a month or so. And um, she's gonna go live, you know, like in a nice condo where she doesn't have to upkeep, you know, the maintenance and the yard and all that, which is fine. Her daughter came. Uh, I explained everything to her daughter. Very smart, intelligent lady. Uh, I showed her the pictures of the dye of the system frozen up, the little, the little specks of dye that I found outside, and I did explain to her that the the leak outside is not nearly as severe as the one in the attic. But she said, "Well, it doesn't matter. It's still leaking, right?" And I said, "Yes." She said, and there's a, how much warranty left on the outdoor unit? I said a month, about a month and a half. Uh, Cause she had the paperwork of the date they installed it and the day and the guy wrote, they only came with a five year warranty. He wrote the day of installation. So you have five years to that day. So it's like a month and a half. So he installed it in October and uh, five years ago or almost five years ago. And uh, I said, you know, but you're going to get another micro channel coil and it might stay leak free, you know, for another two, three, four years, but it'll start leaking again. And I said, but by then the house would be sold. So it's up to y'all. She's like, no, just change the whole system because that'll just add value to the house because I don't want people to go, you know, in the attic or they call an inspector and say, well, somebody put a brand spanking new 2022 air handler in the attic, but they left the uh, five year old outdoor unit. And she said, I don't want that. I want somebody to say, oh man, this thing's got a brand new system. It was just put, cause I write the date and everything with stickers. Oh, it was just put in in uh, uh, September or August of 2022. This thing's brand new. She said, no, change the whole system out. So we are gonna do that Tuesday morning. So I gassed her up with the 407C just to keep her comfortable till Tuesday. And that's pretty much it for this one, gentlemen. And let the few ladies that watch. I thank y'all for watching and uh, see you guys on the next one.